No, Karen's is gone, but this one is still there. Which one's still there? As in, as in. Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen Take 2, 3, 4 and 5. <laughs> so uh, we don't know what happened there, but basically we weren't streaming to YouTube, so we've disconnected and started again. So welcome back to the kitchen and tonight we have um, Cicely Sutherland in the kitchen. She's going to show you tonight how to make edible fabric and edible cellophane. So it's going to be a great night. I've never actually seen it being made myself, so I'm really looking forward to her doing that. And I've also printed off some edible sheets as well. So I printed off these. Do you want to have a look at these, Antonia? So I printed off our logos. And if you remember, I'm waiting for the Sunday Girls aprons to come. So I'm hoping they're going to be soon with these here. So I printed off these for um, Cicely to play with. Which one do you think you're going to go with, Cicely? Mm, I like that rose one. Yeah, I like that, isn't it? So I think that's it. We've just got the three. There we go. So I'm going to have fun playing with these tonight, yeah? And then before we do that, I'll introduce you to Cicely in a moment. But she's a lovely young lady. She is nervous. And um, so do make her very welcome when she comes in front of the camera. But I just wanted to talk to you about classes first. Um, but then I'll also point you in the direction of her, of her Facebook page. So you can go and give her a like. And uh, it's going to be a great night. Yeah. So classes. Do Griffin was in the um, kitchen last week. And she's got uh, three classes coming up, three more classes coming up. But you can still sign on to classes even when they've been and been and gone. So Do taught everybody live in the kitchen how to make these, uh, how many is, two, four, six edible toppers, all for £20 for the class, which basically means, this was a free one, bonus one, basically means you're paying £4 a, a, a cute topper to learn how to make. And it's perfect. The ladies had a wonderful time in class. And it's, it's a great basis for starting to make your own edible cake toppers as well and then she finished off with this one as a bonus one and this one is your place setting so i think that's really cute isn't it 20 pound so you can still join that one it's called doe's um cute cake toppers we also have the halloween toppers coming up next and then her christmas toppers so you'd be looking forward to that georgie godbold you can sign on via our website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk Georgie Godbold was um, in the kitchen on Tuesday, or was meant to be. Unfortunately, her husband Chris has fallen poorly, so he couldn't drive up. And rather than let everybody down, um, I decided that I would take the class myself. And thankfully, Jerry Chu said, you know what, Carol, I'll come and help you. Could never have been more chuffed in my life. So um, I put the cake together and I left Jerry to make the models, but we did have a screaming class. So for that class there, it's this, uh, Georgie Godbold Sugar Wobblies, and it's um, free, I know, don't start laughing. So uh, <laughs> Cicely's mum's in the kitchen and she's there behind you guys and she's giggling her head off. Yes, yeah, so yes, they were the sugary wobblers. So she's done three classes there for £60. You can go back into that class, join it and go back and watch them. And even though it's alive and you watch everything, you know, you do feel as though you're in class. I get lots of students uh, messaging me going, Carol, I couldn't do it on the day. and But when I did it, I just felt as though I was with you guys and it was great fun. But um, Tuesday's class was absolutely hilarious. If the ladies are watching tonight, which I'm sure they are, they'll be telling you that they had an absolute ball. It was really good. Yeah, Geraldine just went, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was very good. So, um, and that's what it is. We want the class to be fun, don't we? We don't want it all serious. And at the end of the day, we want to be able to produce something, but also go back to it later. And once you become a member of the class, you're in that class forever. It's your class. You can go back to it whenever you want. So, anyhow, like I say, Jerry, she's got three classes on, and this is her first one. So she's going to be doing this one a week on Friday, and this is the cute dragon and castle cake. Now, the thing is, when these tutors come into class, they don't just show you the this, okay? What they 
they're going to do is they're going to show you other elements and other things that you can do you know and um, Jerry's got lots of ideas and things that she wants to show you in this class um, classes is entirely up to you you can either run with the run with the tutor on the day we have Karen and Simon in class or Antonia um, Simon or Antonia are doing the filming Karen does all the comments and we slow it down and we pick up again and we also have a laugh and Maybe the odd tear now and again when the sugar paste doesn't go quite how you want it. But that's what it's all about, is having fun in the classroom. So um, so this cake here, £30 for this class, absolutely brilliant. Once you're in the group, it's yours forever. Then I want to do the car cake with you. So look at this bad boy, he's massive, isn't he? So they're all big. But I didn't expect this cake to be so big. So when Jerry brought it in on Tuesday... And what she'll do in this class when you join this, she's going to show you the fundamentals of making this cake into some other type of car. So, you know, if you want how to convert it into a mini, uh, how to, uh, to a Range Rover, other types of cakes. So she said the basic, the basis of the cake is one thing and that's quite easy to adapt it. Um, but she said once you know how, that's when it becomes easy and that's what the classes are all about. But Jerry's also doing a handbag cake as well. So let me just show you the handbag. Now she did a live a few weeks ago and she gave you uh, this one. So lots of you, I get lots of people in the kitchen, including myself, thinking somebody's left the handbag in the class. So let me just put that on there. Oh, it's a daisy. Oh, crikey. Weighs a ton because it's real cake. So she did this as a live in the class and um, it's fantastic. But there's loads of types of handbags and she's got loads of hints and tri uh, tricks to show you. And um, so she's brought in the one that she's going to do in the class. And it's this one. So it's a different type of texturing. So this one was made with cake lace. But this is the one that she's going to do actually in the class. So she's got a few other things to show you. You know, even making your own zip rather than using a mould. Lots of things. So and she'll show you lots lots of other things in the class. And you know, Jerry's a great girl, she's really great fun, but she's gonna show you how you can adapt this as well into other classes. We've got a few handbag classes going on. We've got um Ollie the Choc, he's gonna be making a chocolate handbag, I like the idea of that one as well. So and we've also got Dawn Butler in who's going to be doing her carry handbag, so her carry cake handbag. So she's gonna be in doing that, and again, she's gonna show you how to adapt her. Um, carry bag uh, and make it into a tool toolbox an oblong bag all different things so these tutors are great and knowing that dawn will be showing you how to airbrush as well so do have a look at the classes on our website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk and once you get in them groups you'll become an addict uh, seriously the groups are so funny and um, all the ladies are in them they're, they're, because they're smaller groups they're just hilarious the ladies are in there they're buzzing they're excited everything's in there okay and once you're in that group you're in that group forever so what do you think of that isn't that brilliant brilliant so that's jerry's free classes and it's one per month september october and november so let me just get that one out of the way all with real cake as well you know so many times you see people doing things and they do it on a dummy cake but you see i'm very insistent in the sugar and crumbs kitchen they've got to do it on real cake so uh Because if you're going to make a cake, you want to know how to do it on real cake, don't you? And you know what? That's how it's going to be. So we'll do that there. And then, for something different, I've got a young gentleman in called Ollie. Now, fabulous young guy. He came in last Thursday. He did an amazing demonstration. I had to laugh. How many of us get all wound up about ganache? How much cream should we put in? We're all like that. And here he comes in with his chocolate glug, 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 throwing the vodka. How much did you throw in? Oh, I don't know. Just throwing a good glug. Throw in Tia Maria, throw in whatever you want. It was a fantastic live. Now, he's going to be doing free classes with us as well. So he's going to be starting off with his um, shoe cake, shoe cake, uh, shoe cake uh, chocolate shoes he's going to do. Now, in this class, he's actually going to show you a few things to do. And if you can get hold of Colour Mill, I've sold out a Colour Mill Red now, but I have got it on back order. So it should be here in time for the class. Um, um, so we can show you how to make a Louis Vuitton cake but look at this look at this lovely polka dot and he actually went in the group last night and uh, I'm sure the ladies were really surprised in there because he's so lovely and he's actually done the same shoe in white but the reverse with the dots so um, and he gets a really nice finish on it but look at that look there's no dots inside there 
And these are not stick-on dots. Don't know whether I can show it. Can you see it? And you can see that shine of the chocolate. Well, he's going to show you how to do it. The moulds you just buy off Amazon, I give you a link to the moulds, and you buy Calibo chocolate. So that's all you need to do. Two moulds, Calibo chocolate, and away you go. Um, and then look at this one. Now, when he sent me the picture of this, I wasn't that impressed if I'm really honest, which is really bad. And I don't mean I wasn't impressed. I just thought, I don't know what I thought he'd done to it. But look at this. Look at this marble effect. And look at the shine as well. Can you see the shine? Shine more on this one yeah. than you could the other one. And look at that lovely marble effect. Look, all the way around. And it looks like roses, doesn't it? Swirled roses. But how fabulous is that? And who wants to learn how to do that? Again, £30 and you learn how to do this. And he's going to show you other techniques. And if you behave yourself in that class, he'll make some truffles and show you how to make those as well. And he's got a handbag cake class coming up and Christmas baubles he's going to be doing. He's got a few things coming up. So my, my thing is, if you're going to join a class, join the first one, see how you get on, and if you like that, join the next one. Have a great time. It's all about learn, 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 isn't it? And nothing better than to learn with the masters of their, jo of their trade. So uh, it's okay coming on here with Carol, winging it all the way, but you know sometimes we need to learn by the people who can teach you properly, and that's quite important. So what else have we got here, class wires? Claire Corbett. So I'm not sure whether I can get hers over. So vintage cupcakes. These are really pretty. So she did these in class. I'll just turn them around that way. Doesn't really matter for this one, does it? No, it doesn't. So this class has been and gone, but you can still join it. Still join it and learn how to make these. They're so pretty. She shows you how to colour. And the ladies will tell you they had a great day in here as well. And uh, she shows you how to make 12 very pretty vintage cupcakes. And aren't they gorgeous? Let me know what you think of those. But they're fabulous, aren't they? I think anybody who got them as a gift would be over the moon. Would you be? What do you think of those? Aren't they so pretty? They're so pretty. You just get a little bit like even that. Just with all the little, look, all the little curls on them there. And it's just like all oh, this like detail. It's just it's just fabulous, isn't it? So you can still join that class. Claire's also done a Cakesicles class already, which again you can join. But her next class is uh macrons. So while we're talking of that, I've got in a new cake pop uh, stick holder. Isn't this fab? I couldn't get pink, so I've got to have purple. Uh, we now do uh, gold sticks, silver sticks. And Claire is going to be doing macarons using our whipping it up. So let me just put that there a minute. And I'll see if I can get them for you. I'll see if I can get them without knocking them over. It's a bit of a trick, this one. So. <laughs> I just grab one or two and bring them over. Yeah. <laughs> Watch them all fall. Okay. So she is going to show you how to make these in class. Now she's going to show you two ways. She's going to show you making macarons the traditional way and also by using our Whipping It Up multi-mix. She's also going to show you how to colour them this fabulous black and this gorgeous khaki colour and then dust them as well and, and really make them pretty. So she's done it so you can stand them up, but there's no reason why you don't have them like that. It's entirely up to you. Sorry, this is just a sticky bit on there, which she's stuck them down with. But um, it's entirely up to you. So again, something different and something nice. You can pop these in a little bag and then just give them away as treats, as individual treats. So absolutely lovely. So I hope you like all those classes. I haven't got everything here, but I just thought, you know what, I'll just go through these at the moment. So uh, let me just try and get this back. <laughs> Watch me drop them all now. It gives me the shapes just carrying them. Oh, there they go. Oh, wait a minute. So some new goodies as well, okay? And I'll just show you about these. Uh, these are new drips that are in by Roxy and Rich. So you get six drips in the packet. So there's the packet. They're mini size drips. They're 75 grams each. They are fabulous. Look at those colours there. So perfect for Halloween. Those are Halloween-y colours, aren't they? So you've got your Halloween. You've got Christmas there with the red and the green. And I don't know what you do with the yellow and the blue. But anyhow, they're great, aren't they? Look at those. So a nice um, starter kit as well. We've also got some new um, pipings in. Baked with love, lol. Um, this is the Tutti Frutti, the Spaceman. And then we've also got Karen Davies' new moulding. Now, Karen is in on Monday, and she 
is going to be bringing her new mould for Halloween and I'll just turn it the right way before Antonia tells me off and you've got two pumpkins in there, two ghosts, um, a cauldron, witch, broom and uh, the legs and feet of the, um, what would that be, the legs and feet of who? Witch, witch. Is, it? is that what I like, well where's her body then? Well, you could have her sticking out like the Wicked Witch of the West or no. something, she could be squished yeah, by a cake. Under a house. <laughs> is that how they do it? Wizard of Oz. Is that how they do it? I just don't get it, me, do I? <laughs> I'm just not there, am I? <laughs> Anyhow, but Karen will do a great live on Monday. She always does. You always love having her in the kitchen. And you're going to love watching her use this. And I'm sure she's going to bring some amazing cakes along with this on. And she'll also start, I should imagine she'll give you some heads up on some of her Christmas ideas that she's got going on as well. So there we go, ladies and gents. Have you got any gents joining us tonight, Antonia? Yeah, we have the regular... You know, suspects, like Nick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Oh, hello, Nick. <laughs> so, um, Anya, I'm going to introduce you to Cicely. So I've just kept her over there for a minute because, um, as I say, she was a bit nervous about being in a sugar and crumbs kitchen. And I thought, you know what, let's just go live. Let us see what's going on. And um, her daughter and uh, partner should be watching. So what's your little girl called? Trick. Trixie, is that a lovely name? I love it. Cicely, is that a gorgeous name? I just love it. And a little girl called Trixie. So, hello, Trixie. So, on comes Mummy. Come on, Mummy. So, this is this is Cicely. So, she's going to show you everything tonight. Now, we've had um, a bit of a do because she needed um, powdered gelatine, and I only had leaf gelatine, so we had a bit of a panic. So, we've had John running up and down all the supermarkets, and I gave her leaf gelatine, and it works. So we now have that much gelatine in this kitchen now. <laughs> yeah, but but that was a good thing for know. you to know, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, and that's good. Like, like we say, we, we know. And that's good because one of you would have definitely asked the question, can you do it with leaf gelatine? So we can. So the next question we're going to do is when she shows you how to do this, we're going to have a go at the veggie gel because we don't know, do we? So let's have fun. <laughs> so, um, so let me introduce you to this lady, Cicely, and I'm going to leave you with her. So I'll put this out of the way. Okay. And do you need scissors for that at all? Uh, probably after. Yeah. So you get lots of love. Everyone says oh, hi. Hi. Um, and Maureen has even said hi, Trixie, for your daughter yeah. as well. Thank you so <laughs> much. You'll both be celebrities by the end of this. <laughs> in the sugar and I feel like it with all these cameras. Um, so, I'm going to be making two things, which is the edible fabric and the edible cellophane. Which one to do first? <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I'll start with the, I'm going to start with the edible cellophane, I think. Which I have some already made up over here. And tell us, why would you want edible cellophane? Well, originally when I wanted to learn to see if I could make it, it was because I wanted to make a window. Um, and that was how I originally decided. And I've lost it. It's here. Um, but I suppose you could use it for lots of things. When I was just watching you talk about the classes, um, you could use it for maybe like the car windows. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. isn't it? Or windows on the castle. Yeah. Or anything really. And what does it do? Does it just give it that nice shiny effect on the cake? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. so it works just the same as cellophane would. So, can we go to the top camera? Yeah, so, ooh, which way? <laughs> forward, forward, forward. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, there's your camera there. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, it looks just like real cellophane. And I've got one here that I've already crumpled up and we can screw it in a wall. Look at that. And, yeah. <laughs> What's it like to eat then? Nothing, really. No. 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 But is it easy to eat? Is it chewy or...? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little Does bit... it just melt in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, good, it, isn't it? yeah, it just melts. It doesn't really taste like much at all. And I was thinking it would probably look nice if you did like a pond feature or anything like that, just sitting yeah, on top. because then it? it would give like the shine of yeah. the water. Yeah. You could just use it for anything really. Yeah. Whatever your mind can think of, yeah, you can use it for. Sharon says edible wrapping for pops. Yeah. Yes, she did say that. To wrap yeah. around bouquets. Michelle Ward yeah. said that. Yeah. You'd have to make a big one for that, <laughs> crikey. And I also <laughs> had a go at home 
Um, so this is just the plain see-through one. I had a go at colouring some with some, it was just some colour mill. So I've got some red cellophane. Oh, sorry, I just thought it was easy. There it is. <laughs> no, I have to just keep finding where it is. So yeah, so it looks exactly the same. It's like a little bit transparent so you can see through it a little bit. I like that. That's good, isn't so it? So maybe like sweet wrappers or maybe, what's it called? Like the church windows. Stained glass. Stained glass. <laughs> In case you want well to do like done, stained Ellie. glass windows <laughs> or anything like that. It's just really nice yeah that would be because you could do yeah. little bits in different colors and then mix yeah. it all together yeah well, that's what i thought that would look really nice and then if you did black royal icing so just do all that beading effect or even yeah. piping gel would be good Colour yeah gel. and then i also had a go at spraying it just let me stop yes so you answer that question before susan phillips had chance to ask you what was so that she said can you color the cellophane and you'd already answered it so there you go <laughs> yeah Two great minds think alike yeah, and I also had a go at spraying it. Oh, look at that. So I thought this would, because my idea of trying to spray it was I wanted to try to figure out if I could make tin foil. Yeah. Because I keep seeing at the minute the food cakes are really mm. in, like giant jacket potatoes and yeah. burgers. And yeah, so I sprayed it. This was... What did you spray it with? It was the PME Luster Spray oh, right. in silver. Right. Um, so after I made it, before it sat, I made it got it on the non-stick and then just sprayed it. Sicily, that was it. I've got the silver and I've got the gold. You'll be spraying it Yeah, anyway. and then <laughs> exactly the same. Gold. I can crunch that up in my hands and then it just gives it that tin foily look or whatever you wanted to use it for really. That's fantastic, it really yes. is. That's all my different colours that I've tried. And Elizabeth uh, Moss says it would be good to make a fire with. A See, fire that would be a really good idea. Red What's and it? orange and cut it into little flames. Yeah, good I idea. Love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Harry um, Potter glasses. Yes. Mm. Oh, they're all on it now then, aren't they? And um, I've already told Carol I made some little instructions for you all at home. Yes. That um, Carol will put on. The page, did you say? Yep, as soon as you email yep. them to me, That's I'll get them fine. on. That's fine. So, we best get started. Yeah. I'm laughing at Michelle Ward here, wrap around bouquet. It's going to be a massive piece of cellophane, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, I have... And Jackie Adams says it looks so real, it looks fabulous. Thank you. Oh, I like that idea from Linda Miles. What does she say? Superhero capes. Yay! Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And it's nice to know that everybody can eat it, can't they? Which is great, mm. isn't it? So you could make a full edible model or something and they can eat it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of non-edible decorations because if it's on top of my cake, I want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I always get paranoid, like what if someone takes the cake and then they try and eat something and it's yeah. not edible. <laughs> so I always just try and figure out how to make it edible. So, to start the recipe, I have got 25 grams of gelatin powder and I'm going to mix half a cup of lemonade. You can use water or any fizzy pop. What made you come up with lemonade? It, just because the gelatin can just taste a bit. Right. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad, it just doesn't... So you yeah. can just put the cold lemonade in there with that and it's fine, it dissolves. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the beginning, when I first made it, I tried to do it so it would be hot first, but this way works, so I don't like to add the extra steps yeah. if I don't have to. Yeah. So I'm just going to stir that in. And you know, should I get some extra bowls out and you can show them how to colour it? Can do, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to give that a minute to set a little bit and to like just soak up some of the lemonade. You can also add in a teaspoon or two of just normal sugar or caster sugar just to make it taste a little bit sweeter. I'm probably not going to do that because we're not actually... I forgot to get the sugar out. Of <laughs> it can if you want but I don't really think we're going to be eating oh, it right. so it's not going to make much of a difference. That's really new. We're not all celebrating tonight. Well, so you, can, you can still well. eat it. It's made with lemonade. <laughs> but, um, yeah, one thing I did try at home, I wanted to see if it would change the colour if I was to um, use Cherry Aid 
because it's okay, red, yeah. it doesn't. No. So when it's in the bowl, it looks pink, and then once you get it on and you let it set, it's see through. Oh, was it? That's <laughs> yeah. interesting to know, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I've tried, guys, it doesn't work. But it doesn't taste <laughs> more like cherry. Mm. Nast. No. Mm, yeah, the just, same. It just doesn't taste like much at all, and I think, to be honest, if you was to put it on a cake, the amount that would be on a cake, you wouldn't notice. With the icing and stuff, I don't think you'd be able to taste it at all, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fair what do you do about spreading it out? We're going to put it. Oh, look at that. That's thickening up really quick, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so this is just. Should I get you some extra balls so you can colour some for everybody? Um, do you want me to get you some extra balls? Let me get some. Because they're, they're bound to ask. They want it all, you know, Cicely. You can't <laughs> just come on, put that in there, stir it, and that's done. Listen, they make you work for your life, right? <laughs> Listen, they're sat at home having a cup of tea, feet up, I'll you've try. got to work for it. I'll try, yeah. guys, I will try. So this is getting really nice and thick, a little bit gross looking. And what colours do you want? Do you want, um, is it colour mill, pro gel, what would you I want? used colour mill, yeah. because that was what I had on hand, but yeah. I think any colour would colour it, really. Okay, great. <laughs> so I'm just... I'm looking at the overhead, and even just since you stirred it, that stayed now. That's yeah, so amazing. you can see it's starting to get really thick, and yeah. So this, so you've only got to leave it to sit for two to five minutes, like hardly at all, just so it gets nice and thick. And yeah, this is all the ingredients that it takes. Yeah, that was a big dem, wasn't it? Hey, how technical <laughs> was that? Hey, did you get the notes for that? <laughs> yeah, Linda says, can you repeat the recipe, please? <laughs> so that's half a cup of lemonade, 25 grams of gelatin. That's it. That's it. I can go home now. That's it, we're done. <laughs> See, I told you it was an early night. Right, so I'm going to whack this in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then, yeah, I'll show it you in a second. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? It's brilliant. It's like, it looks so complex when you see the finished product. It's like, oh! Who's going to rush off and make some now? <laughs> I bet you lot could be in your kitchen and have it made quicker than we have, haven't you? You'll be there. That's that, that's that sorted. Right, so I've got out some sprays. Do you want me to get some kitchen roll down? I'm going to start spraying and colouring. Because you don't get away with that in here, you know, Cicely. Yeah. Uh, do not think, do not think for one minute that they will let you get away without colouring this. Geraldine, it doesn't matter that it's off subject. The cake, the castle cake is massive. Like, honestly. Oh, it is massive. Carol. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a big girl. That's what I'm trying to show you. See how big these cakes are, so in class and then also hannah the cake illusionist is in on saturday my uh karen's made my big square cakes for me today so anybody who wants to do that big dog cake i'm doing it live with hannah so uh sorry it's okay um, um so you've still got time to join that and there's free classes there for 60 pounds does the cat the dog and i think the next one is a tiger i'm not sure should i you know there you go girl Okay, I'm going to run back off again in a second. <laughs> so, if we could just switch to the overhead one. So, this is what it looks like after 30 seconds. So, obviously, it's runny, but it's like that colour. <laughs> so, I'm going to run back to the microwave for 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, so guys. Right. We're just, I'll get Antonia to zoom into stuff. What do you want to zoom into? Oh, I don't know. Let's zoom into what's <laughs> on the back. Can you see that bar over there? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. So look what's on our display window. Let's zoom in, guys. Oh, uh, you can't. It's not quite focused. But we've got flowers sprinkled. <laughs> it's just really glary. <laughs> oh yeah. It's oh, just, so yeah. there's an interesting comment. Jay McDougall said, "I'm going to try it with some edible glitter in it." See how that turns out. I've got edible glitter. Oh god, I'm gonna have to get on my chair again now, aren't I? I actually really want to see that and just see. Hey. 
I really want to see that and see, see how that would do it. Yeah. I think it would probably show better. Well, you don't know, really. Or maybe if you was to like pour it out and then put the edible glitter on I think before it's set. Be the way, won't it? So, oh. just going to give it a really gentle I knew that Jane stir. would do over here, coming up with something clever. She's <laughs> my biggest supporter on the group. Oh, Jane? Yeah, every time I comment, she's just there like, you're doing great. <laughs> I support you. <laughs> She's brilliant, isn't she? She is. So, I'm going to get a spoon. <laughs> Martin says, Trixie's fuming and mum keeps going off screen. How dare you, Sorry, Sicily. Trixie, I'm What's sorry. Up? Her daughter's angry that she keeps going off screen. <laughs> I'm back now, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, if we can switch to the overhead. Hey, she's getting into this. I know. She? It's in the sound. <laughs> yeah. So, you can see it's basically clear. Sometimes when I do it at home, you get a more foam on the top. It's obviously, just not here. But if there's any like foamy bubbles, which I don't actually have any, so I could just put that spoon down and skip out a step. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it done. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. They've so. all made theirs as well now. They're waiting for the next step. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> Um, no, but it's good to see that. But what we want to see now is, so if you colour some, how are you going to get it flat into paper sheets? Right, so what I use at home, I've done it on a mixture of things. I've done it on like a ganache plate, um, a metal cake lifter, um, just my non-stick boards. I've got more than a couple there, you know. Yeah, like just yourself. the table. Yeah, so I did bring that, one. But open that cupboard up. Go down, yeah, further down, there's baking trays there. So I think some nice big baking trays. They don't need to go in the fridge or anything, do they? Can you no. see those big PME baking tray, trays? Could you use that? Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just bite in with the pans in the cupboard. Oh. Right. <laughs> Nessa is asking, can it be done? This is going to really put you on the spot now. Right. Can it be done without a microwave? She lives in the dark ages. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it on the hob, on a low heat, and okay. it should work the same. You might have to just fiddle with the timing a little bit, but yeah. If it looks like that, it's probably going to be okay, but I think the best way is to just have a play and see what happens, and then you'll know. Mm. Um, then, so how do they do it then? So what are you going to do? Are you going to colour some? Yes, I can colour some. I've got you two colours out. I've got you a hot pink and I've got you a mint green. Where did I put them? Here. There you go. Yeah. Ooh. So you, if you've got three bowls there, do you want to do a clear? So if we do a clear, a bit of hot pink, a bit of mint green, and then we can spray them with a bit of stuff. Not specific at all, Carol. No. <laughs> well, I'm trying to try and lag, drag this live out for longer than five minutes. So, we've got fabric still. We've got fabric today. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's as quick as this one. <laughs> I've got to say though, I will warn you, this does take time to set. Yeah. Um, so I leave mine overnight. Right. So they, we'll see what happens and then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. That's it's more fine. about. I don't want to leave it in the bowl and then they're sat there with a bowl of this liquid wondering what to do next. <laughs> so what we need to do is say, stick in there yeah. and wait for it to set. That's, oh, where shall I put this one? Uh, just flip oh, it down my end. Maureen, it's not Carol eating, it's me munching on some uh, yeah, not jelly, me. jelly hearts. Right, so <laughs> shall we put, we'll put some pink in this one. Oh. Have, you got a, have you got a spatula there, haven't you? Yeah. Paul Baker Paul is searching through his cupboards looking for gelatin. Yeah, but as yeah. we speak. <laughs> I wonder how many other people will be there searching for it tomorrow. We'll have that much cellophane on the group. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited just to see everyone just take this recipe and run with it. Yeah. And just see what Absolutely. they make. Yeah. I have this idea in my head, so if anyone on the group can make it real, I would <laughs> love to see it. But um I have this idea of doing like wings and making a butterfly with like oh, yeah. clear wings yeah. or maybe like a little bit of coloured wings. Yeah. Just it's like really see through. Yeah. And then if you have like a flower decoration, you can just have like a little little butterfly. Well, crack on then, give it a yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind, we'll sit and watch it. I know, but I, I can't remember who made the suggestion earlier up, but gingerbread house windows and things. Yes, yes. absolutely. So sweet. Yeah. Right, that's one in pink. 
So then, what you do next, I'll do this one first before I colour them ones up to show you what happens next. You should have to pour it all out because you pour bits part off yeah. on the tray and then we could mix it then in a minute and do a bit of a marble effect. Yeah, so then what you do is you just pour however much you want out. And this is the really Season. technical part. Susan Phillips <laughs> literally said, can you do a marble effect? Fitching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great minds think alike, yeah. you see. Okay, I wonder how many people would be playing with gelatine tonight. If anybody needs spare gelatine, just pop up to the house. John's bought that much of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you just keep doing it backwards and forwards till you feel like you've got a nice layer. Oh, Linda Miles says... She has to make a unicorn cake, so it'd be good for the mane and tail. Mm. Mm. Game changer. <laughs> I wonder whether, you know how you can make flowers out of card? Yeah. And you just like cut them like that. I wonder if you could do the same oh, with absolutely. these. absolutely, yeah. I would think so. And then, there you go. We've got a nice, even layer on here. And that's, that's it. <laughs> Just to say, you don't need to use colour mill for this. Colour mill is mainly for products with oil in, but um, it's just that she'd use colour mill. It's just not she. Cicely had used colour mill at home, so I just wanted to give her a product that she'd used before. That was all. But you can use any gel; it'd be fine. I literally just had the primary set delivered, yeah. so it was there. So I thought excuse, that's what I'm yeah. chucking in. Yeah. We'll see what happens. So that's one done in the pink colour, and then you leave this to set, preferably overnight. So about eight to 12 hours but I usually do it in a lot bigger batch and then when you come back to it in the morning it should just pop off and be cellophane and then I just trim the edges off to make it a nice size yeah well tomorrow Karen's doing the live tomorrow so she'll peel it off tomorrow and show you it tomorrow so we're going to throw another cut chip yeah. down yeah people are coming up with some amazing ideas I know I'm looking this. at them dream catchers all sorts of things that would be so nice so I'll do a bit of green. <laughs> What's that? Uh, 20 years out of a date? Well, that's not quite that old. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it was about her jealousy and being out of date. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's amazing what we keep in the cupboard so when it comes to cake decorating stuff that's why it's good it's all the best before what are you doing you it's a new bottle use a pair of scissors there <laughs> you're We're just casually struggling away i know <laughs> we did it we did it <laughs> Right, so we're going to put a little bit of the... Yeah, that's quite an interesting one. And you know what? I think we might give it a go, actually. So Karen Naylor has said, would it set in a mould to make things look like glassier mints, fruits, etc., etc.? Yes. Right, get that mould there, Karen Davisy mould. That new one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, listen. Do you think Cicely's going to do 10 minutes on here? I don't think so. She's she going to be here till it. midnight. We'll have everything out of this cupboard. <laughs> yeah, you've tried 10 done. minutes, so now you can have 10 hours. <laughs> I don't mind. This so, is my 15 minutes in the spotlight. Yeah, good girl. And you know what? You're doing very well. I'm going to bring this up at every family party. Yeah. Isn't she doing well, everyone? For somebody who was so nervous, you're enjoying yourself now. You're chilled out. Yeah. Good girl. Definitely. Yeah. Right, get them all out. Let's get some in there then. So yeah, we're doing the green. Do, have you put green in there yet? I have, but it's not really. That's pink. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Did you give it a shake, the green? That might be fine. You need to give it a good shake because it's been stood up there for a while. <laughs> Sorry. We <laughs> just have to do these things. So. Some more in. See, I just go overboard now. Just <laughs> yeah, doing a brilliant job, Fab. She is. I think what we're doing, we put a little bit on the side of here, Cicely. Okay. Yeah. Because we're we're we'll trying to get it so it's like um, mixed. Then we'll yeah. put a little bit in the mold. You've got red there, that pink there. We're we'll putting the mold. Oh, look at that, it's setting. Right. Mm. So what you could do is you could just um, you've got spoons there. Pour some in the mould and then just stretch it out. And then tomorrow, mm. I'll get Karen to get it out. Yeah, we'll see In fact, what if happens. you want, you might not go home tomorrow. You could stay here with Karen <laughs> on the live and help her get it out of the moulds, couldn't you? Part two. Mm. <laughs> so. The moulds thinking, what? <laughs> Chris 
Crystal, whoever that is related to you. That's my say, auntie. Uh, oh my god, I don't want to hear it at every family party, lol. <laughs> <laughs> and look, top. <laughs> Hey, not everyone gets to come in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. This is a exactly, big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure everyone on the group just bullied Carol into it. Pardon? <laughs> I think everyone just bullied you into it. They were like, just no, get her in. No. I, to be fair, I didn't see the post. I just I, everyone was pinging me, going, "Get this girl yeah. in the kitchen." But it was really good because I just messaged you and said you fancy coming in. You went, "Yeah." I thought, "Crack, that was easy." Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend ages talking people into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any excuse to go on a day trip. <laughs> so just shake it out. <laughs> Martin says, in quotes, Sicily is going to be brought up at every family party. Me already. Tells everyone at work my missus is going to be on telly with other famous bakers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he makes it sound like I'm going on the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> That's so lovely, though, that he's so yeah. supportive. It's nice, Come he's on. watching. It's because I send him to work with all the good it is. <laughs> I remember one time um, a woman from his old work made cake and sent it in for everyone to eat at work and she left it in the office and I thought, I'm not having that. So I sent him in the next day with a full set of decorated <laughs> cupcakes. I thought... <laughs> Got to outbeat them. <laughs> I'm the baker here. Pettiness at its finest. <laughs> right, there we go. That is another one on. So you can see it's probably going to come out quite see-through. Yeah. Can't wait to see it in the morning. Right, let's sprinkle, sprinkle a bit of glitter on. Do half of that with glitter on, and we'll see, see what they do. So I've got this to give one? you silver and gold, silver and gold. So if you do the bottom half with glitter. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this oh, is so look there. Oh, she's a blinket girl. Mm. Look at this, crikey. No shyness Ooh. using this. I have this at home, and yeah. it's everywhere. It's in my hair. So cool. Do you want it on the green as well? We'll do silver on there. Oh, okay. Getting carried away with the gold. <laughs> Listen, we've got to go with it, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do some silver. And we'll get you to pop it in the Karen Davies moulds. Lisa mm. is asking, how strong is it? Does it rip easily? She's thinking of edible Christmas crackers. Mm. You actually, you could do that. So, um, where is it? Let me just... This is, like this one is slightly thicker than this one. They were made at the same time, but when you find, when you're doing that, you can see this side's thicker mm. than the top part, which is a lot thinner. So do you want to have a feel? Oh, it is. So that one's quite thick and that one's oh, quite yeah, thin. Yeah. And as for ripping it, yeah, yeah just like that. It's yeah. really easy, really simple. If you were to pull it, just don't quick, if you were to pull it like that, how Oh, let's see. Strong. <laughs> no. There you go. See, pretty strong then. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. So yeah. you probably could do that. I do actually have some here, which I made too thick and wrong. And I brought it with me to show you what not to do. So I left it to set. Yeah, you can so see how thick that is. Can see, I, oh, I like that though. No, see. Because I think for a pond effect, I think, mm. I think that's better for your windows. I think... It depends what effect that you want. Yeah. So it's not necessarily wrong, no. but if you want the clear, see through, yeah. soft type, can we go to that? I think that looks good actually. So, oops, where am I? Down, Down. Down. Stop <laughs> swinging around under our camera. They're all yeah, dizzy. So. They're like that on the set ease now. <laughs> so, this one is like really thick, and you can see on the edges, it's like really thick and hard. It's still bendable, but it's just really, yeah, that's yeah really thick. It. And it's got some bubbles in it. And I just left it to set for too long and just put it on way too thick, yeah, and that's what happened. Well, listen, you you're, you're, you're in more trouble now because Paul, Paul, the ball baker, said, Would it work in a cake clay mold? So, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? <laughs> right? Listen, you don't get away now. Right, let's get it in the Karen Davies moulds yes. first, and then we can put the Karen Davies moulds there. Okay. And then that's underneath you, we've got cake lace moulds. So, you, you, I told you, you don't get it out there for now, you know. <laughs> so, I'm putting some in this little ghost, and then you just have to just keep coating it. And the good thing is, is it's starting to go a little bit um, thicker, 
and we can peel that out in the morning so yeah which would be if better. you watch karen in the morning okay karen will peel all these off for you and show you if it still feels a bit soft and jellyfied it's not ready <laughs> <laughs> Dinas is asking, if you added different colours touching, would it come out all the colours joined? So will it stick together if they're touching? I would think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, she can do that in the next mould. Keep throwing the questions. Listen, <laughs> we might get onto edible fabric next week. I thought it was only going to be a five minute session this, didn't you? Did you think it could take any longer than this? Well, that's <laughs> what I was worried about, that I'd come on and just kind of say, there you go. I'm done. <laughs> Drop the mic. Impressive. Like that in itself is just like, hey, look how technical this is, but how simple it is to do. Oh, it's getting worse. Jamie Dougal says, Carol, a few of the ladies have asked me for Sicily's famous chocolate cake recipe. Well, you're not having it because we'll have Sicily back doing it next time. Oh, I, so. that's another one that I just, I woke up to just a crazy amount of messages about my chocolate cake. Of Well, we'll have to have you back, Sicily, making a chocolate cake for them. And I definitely <laughs> would come back because it makes me feel like a celebrity. Aww. I feel like I'm on Extreme Cake Makers. <laughs> well, we're looking for regular people to come and do slots here, so we'd be more than happy to have you back. Ooh, there's a rude one here. Somebody wants edible knickers. I've not heard of them in years, <laughs> edible knickers. That would be really good. But you have the edible fabric you see as now, well. Kim, you are there. Yes. <laughs> Look, we have to nine, oh, <laughs> we just hit nine o'clock. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the edible fabric yeah. you could make into edible knickers. Mm, well, we just hit nine o'clock so we can discuss the edible knickers now. We can okay. make a PG though. We can put them on a free life washing line. There you go. Right. <laughs> Are you going to put another colour in the other one? Yeah, but one thing I just wanted to say is that you can see here it's starting to set up and it's yeah. going really thick and oh, a bit yeah. gross. But we're just going to whack it back in the microwave. Oh, is that all you do? Yeah. So it's not wasted? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, let's do the pink then. Great. Reheat it and run in. <laughs> right. Yeah, Alison, if you did it thick, I don't see why you couldn't make a cake sale. Yeah. Because did you... S well, get Cicely to show you the thicker piece again in a sec. Um, when she appears back on screen <laughs> and um, yeah because you can see the thickness of that it it would stand it surely mm. well we are looking for people to come and do slots if you've got a baking thing that you've been like, trying to get that Paul the ball baker here for some time so I've been asking him for some time here to tell you but anybody who feels that they could come in the sugar and crumbs kitchen and they want to do a live absolutely just message me and let's do it but they're all very excited about the edible knickers mm. <laughs> really worried about our audience <laughs> what do I do with all my spatulas uh, I don't know but if you go in the middle drawer down there we've got loads more I found them because oh. I know you did give me more so here we go Yep, so they're saying, uh, could you make a sale for a pirate ship? I can't see any reason why not. No, I'd imagine if you was to do it on, um, you know, the like the non-stick baking mats that you can get, sill pats are they yeah. called? If you was to get it on one of them, pour it out, wait for it to, yeah, so here now it's gone like jellyfied and tacky. It's not dry, but it's not liquid. Mm. And then like peg it like you would a yes. chocolate one. Yeah. I don't see why not. No, I don't see why not either. Right, before you pour that in there, squirt some glitter in it. Which one? Silver. Oh, okay. Squirt glitter in it. Right. Who's live, is it Carol? Eh? Who's live? Who's my live? Listen, she only had a five second slot, I'm keeping her busy. Eh? She did say that was no, it. She did mix it in more than the microwave, so there you go, that's it. I'm coming up with the ideas here with the team. Eh? Cracky. And the team here are coming up with all sorts of things. Let's I know there are so many great ideas. I'm really excited <laughs> just to see everyone's ideas. Oh, that looks great with the glitter in it. Oh, I like it. And they like the idea of a scarf for a snowman. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a really see, good idea. See, they're very idea. good at our group. They come up to this. I was thinking as well, like with the edible fabric, like for the handbags. You could have like a scarf or something coming out of the hand. Your partner, Mar Martin, he said, mm. This went from an innocent demonstration to an Anne Summers session. 
Oh, yeah. Listen, it did. Was it me who lowered the tone? <laughs> Let me find the young lady who lowered the tone. Name and shame. Yeah, well, absolutely. This has gone so shimmery and pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. yeah. Look at that, say. Thanks. Where are you? Here you are. I don't know if you can, if it's yeah. picking it up, but yeah, it's, it is definitely. Oh, it's really nice. So, which one's going to be pink shimmery? Uh, mm. Well, let's have um, let's have the uh, should we have a pink shimmery pumpkin? It always feels off putting Halloween things in these colours, but they're really quite nice too. Yeah, that's good. Snowflakes for a frozen cake. That would yeah. be nice. Because you could do the clear one, couldn't you? And then put all the glitter in it. That would be nice. Have you still got the clear stuff there? Yeah, I've got a bowl of clear yeah, over so put here. Yeah, back in the microwave. Don't worry. Yeah. So I'm just going to give this a second in the mould before I pour some of it out. Yeah. Just so it can kind of like stick to all the sides. Cousin Kirsty says hi. Hi. <laughs> Have we got the family watching tonight? Yeah, so my partner, <laughs> my partner shared the link and like my dad and my auntie is just like, tag me in it, tag me in it so they can all watch me. So if I go completely wrong or like fall over or something, yeah. everyone's watching. So we've got a stained glass window topper with a tea light behind it. Yes. And we think it was Maureen who lowered the tone, but <laughs> I did see a lady before Maureen, so I might get you out of this, Maureen, because I'm sure somebody else hit, hit it before you did. I'm going to go and find it, because I get the blame for lowering the tone, and it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, Nikki King was on bra and knickers, so she was pretty decent, because she was keeping the bra on. <laughs> well, uh, you can do them like nude cake, like the bodies. You know, that you have, like, for, like, bachelorette parties and stuff, where they have, you know, just, like, the torso. Yeah, didn't someone talk about a bachelor cake on, um... Janine Emery lowered the tone first. <laughs> just named and shamed you, Janine. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say your name. A-Y-S-E. Ice? Ace? I'm going to call you Ice for now. How would you store them once made, please, Sicily? See, I would keep them in just like a plastic, I got them the minute that I brought them in, just like the little plastic wallets like this, and then all I did was I put it inside and then just taped it. Yeah. And that's how I would nice. keep it. Because the only thing I'd worry about is if you put it in an airtight container, would it like sweat? Mm. And with it being gelatin, would it just turn back to stickiness? And Jane said it's so much easier than ice them all. You don't burn your hands on it either. Yeah, so, I point, tried isn't it? ice them all and I just kept burning it. Mm. It just kept turning out like orange. So Nick, Nick's really relieved. It wasn't him lowering the tone. <laughs> Normally it is Nick lowering the tone with Maureen. But they've been bailed out because Janine beat them to it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being really boring right now. But I'm just trying yeah, to yeah, get a really good even coat. Yeah. I'm really excited how these pop out tomorrow, if they yeah. pop out. They will pop yeah. out. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll give Clark Karen the pleasure of that on a live tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, <Surprise>. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she's watching. Or she certainly was earlier. Yeah, she was watching. Well, yeah. if it doesn't come out the mould, then it's probably Karen's fault, not what I've done. <laughs> 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 she must have done something to it. <laughs> see, you could blame the fridge as well. <laughs> Too mm. cold. There you go. Well, it doesn't actually go in the fridge. It's... Oh, really? No, you just leave it out, room temperature. Yeah. So, uh, anybody who wants a recipe, repeat it. I'm not going to keep doing on here. But um, Cicely has very kindly done a printout for me. She's going to email it to me, and I will post it on the group and on this page later. It's even got pictures. <laughs> yeah, even got pictures. <laughs> no, I was... So, they love the pink sparkly pumpkin. Oh, Karen's here. She went, how long is my life tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> She's got to make a walnut cake tomorrow. Oh, I love yeah. walnut cake. Right, there we go. They're in the moulds. So we'll see what happens. What do you want me to do with them next? Right, let's use the clear one. Okay. So let's do the clear one and then let's, um, what we're going to do with the clear one? What was I thinking with the clear one? Well, we've got the sprays. Yes, we're going to spray it, aren't we? Okay. That's it. Yeah. So maybe I'll take this one. Yeah, and we'll move it because yeah. that spray goes everywhere, yeah. up your nose. <laughs> Where shall I put this? Um, just this? shove it down there, that'd be great. Ooh, that's a really good idea. Jane McDougall says, would be lovely in the Karen Davies brooch mould, like precious gems. Yes, absolutely. 
And she's got that mould, so she never should be eyeballing that. Right, so I'm going right. to get this warmed up, guys. Yeah. Could you pour over the outside of a muffin tin and create bowls? I can't see no reason why not, Karen. Do you know what? Cicely's give you all the recipe, girls. Look, it's so cheap and easy. Get playing. So you've all run to your cupboards to see if you've got it. And did you make this one with the powdered gelatine tonight, Cicely? That one is with the powdered yeah. gelatine. And then she tried it earlier with the leaf gelatine and it worked the same. Because John went to the shop to get some gelatine. After me telling him to buy powdered and bought, eight, bought 10 packets of leaf gelatine, well chuffed with himself that he bought everything. <laughs> And then he went to the chippy and got our tea for us. And then I said, no, we need powder, John. So he's had to leg it to Sainsbury's and he's bought all their stock. And he came running in at 10 to 8 with it all, didn't he? Yeah. But then, now I can but, tell you all. Yeah. But it then was. Cicely turned around and said, oh, I don't need it now. I've got it. How do you <laughs> I know. And I was, I was trying to eat my tea and I was Googling how to convert the powder Cake into base. the leaves that's what they're asking before you do that so um, go in yeah. this uh, cupboard there this one yep the two end cupboards you should see a pink tub of cake lace if it's not that one it's the other end i can see it can you I see it? Take it right home. let's get a mat out <laughs> see i told you they won't let you off you've only got to say one word to these lot and that's it they're on it which one shall i have uh, helen williams we better get to asda early in the morning <laughs> 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 I reckon there might be a load of online shoppers tonight <laughs> buying all gelatine. A little yeah. scraping on. I'm going to be going home trying to smuggle your whole kitchen out in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Might need a bigger bag. <laughs> Definitely. Um, yep, yeah, so Sarah, um, uh, Cicely used, it, used powdered gelatine. And she didn't know she could use leaf gelatine uh, until I told her we didn't have powder because I had some leaf in the cupboard. And then when John got back, she'd actually been able to use it. So either or, the only thing that we haven't tried is the veggie gel. And if we get time tonight, <laughs> we'll have a give it a go with the veggie gel. So that's not a cake lace one, that one. <laughs> you use that one. <laughs> Kate Lisa's pink. Sorry, Nikki King's making me laugh. Note to self, don't shop near Carol for Fragility. gelatin. Yeah, no. John's been on a madman rush. <laughs> yeah, so if you've got the powder gelatin, do that. Bookers do powders in a big carton. Oh, cranky, we're going for the big cartons now. Jules oh. is asking, can you bend it and join up two sides to create I think, like a circle? I'd thing? imagine so. I think if you was to use this mixture to glue it to itself i don't see why not it's no. pretty bendy and yeah right are you excited are you enjoying yourself so sleep you're all relaxed yes good well, i'll keep eating the sweeties then <laughs> right so you want this with the clear one i've got glitter all over my arms <laughs> right so you know when you did it with the sheets yep. before how many sheets is the equivalent to 25 grams because you had to work that out before, didn't you? Eight. Eight sheets. Did you use eight sheets, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up to my mum then, because my mum was helping me work it out. So Fiona McKee said she'd be really interested if it works in the lace mat, because she's a frozen cake to do, and the snowflakes would be fabulous. Uh, Shel Pashar says, does it retain like a gelatine smell, please? It's got no smell, has it? So let's do a sniff test. <laughs> the pay, this, no. this, this stuff does not smell. <laughs> I'll just taste it, just to see. You just really wanted to try that, didn't you? Not this really. Sounds that. Huh? It is, but then it's like a thick one. I just, would go for the thick one. But yeah, but then it just like dissolves. Mm. So it's a little bit like chewy, but you then know, it the goes. What does remind me of? It's like... Cardboard. No! <laughs> this sounds really weird. Right, I grew up in Asia, guys. It's normal there. Eating like them seaweed snacks. That's the texture it reminds mm. me of. Love Just let me interrupt. Leslie Green, yes, you can use sparkling water or tonic water. Yeah. Um, all Cicely did, she used it. She wanted... Um, a fle she just wanted it to give it something a bit different um, to take away any... Well, to sort of maybe add flavour or take away the gelatine flavour. Yeah, just to cover the... So Martin so says, he's just place. putting Trixie to bed as she fell asleep watching you till her little mm -hmm. eyes couldn't take it anymore. 
Oh, no, no, Trixie. I bet she's Aww. so confused. She was <laughs> yeah. like, what? Why, why are you on TV? And How I did you get in you. there? <laughs> my, my little grandchildren, they're, they're three and two, and they, they don't get it either. Really? No, they watch, it, they watch it, and then when I come in, they go, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter watches YouTube. So, just going to give it a scrape. with the tonic why not go the whole hog and put the gin in as well yeah. <laughs> I like the sound of that hard. <laughs> although I probably just end up drinking the gin as I'm going you can see it starting to settle Karen's going to have a right session tomorrow morning who's coming watching Karen in the morning half past <laughs> 11 live she's got to get all these out of these things You've got some coloured ones there you can put in as well. I can, yeah. Just scraping off. Do you think we'll have enough time for the flexible bit? The yeah. animal paper. <laughs> I think so. I don't know, I think it depends on how long everyone's willing to watch me. <laughs> mm. Well, no one seems to have left, so No. <laughs> it's gonna get to said, midnight and they're, they're all gonna, gonna be going, come on. Now. Audience, just under four hundred. <laughs> you shouldn't have told her that. <laughs> no. It's mad though, isn't it? 400 people watching, just short of, isn't it? Right, so that's the see through one in. So we'll see what happens with that. And then. Does that need microwaving? I think so. I'm going to run to the microwave. <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? Debbie Hargreaves, I'm always there for Karen. Helen Mills, so am I. Leslie Irvin, definitely have to watch. Karen Naylor, me. Whilst answering the phone. Hey, Karen, <clears throat> we're putting the warehouse back tomorrow. <coughs> well, since um, Cicely's currently off screen and the request earlier was to look at this closer. There you go. A bit blurry. Oh, yeah. There's the dragon cake in all its glory. <laughs> right. A cute little top up here. We've got now. pink back on the board now. So Elizabeth Wedgwood is just saying, do you think you could pipe details on top of the gelatine when set? I'm thinking about royal icing. No. When it's set, no, because it, it's flexible, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> no. Oh, a definite, no, but if it's, it moves, doesn't it? I tried, I tried to use royal icing on it. Um and it just made the gelatin want to melt because of the liquid in it and it just turned into a bit of a mess and went all sludgy it was really gross sarah do we sell the scrapers yes we do if you go on to sugar and crumbs website go to get go to brands cake lace and the uh, scrapers are in there Anybody who's missed anything, we're making, um, well, I'm not making anything, we're making um, edible cellophane and uh, edible, uh, what are we making? Edible <laughs> fabric. Edible fabric. Yeah. Well, you could just call it whatever, really. <laughs> and, uh, paper before. <laughs> we're, just, we're just playing with different ideas at the moment. So Cicely has given the recipe. She's shown you the, her version that's dry. But because we're making this fresh, we're not going to be able to see this dry until tomorrow. So if you want to see the dry version, you'll need to join in with Karen's live tomorrow. So this can be put in the oven. Yeah. Um, no heat, just the light. Oh, really? But then it would still take three to four hours, yeah. which is a long time to have yeah. your oven on. So. Right, listen, I'm going to bed. I'm not waiting that long. Karen can deal with this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You're on, you're on the comments tomorrow as well, you're on tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And Jerry Chu, who is, she comes in here and does all the uh, cake lace, she's uh, she'll be getting all her lace mats out to try this tomorrow. She's on it. <laughs> is that who made this cake? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that live, it was amazing. Yeah, well, she's been getting her lace mates out, and I see she's watching you, isn't that nice? That's so, very nice. Yeah. That just makes me want to cry. Why? <laughs> happy tears, I hope. Happy tears. They're cute, you, aren't they? Defi definitely happy tears. <laughs> when I was at Cake International, I met um, 
Just one second. I knew this question would come up. What's that? Abida, would veggie gel work the same? We're going to try it. We don't know. We don't know. We're going to try it. We'll make a little batch. Oh, and how long would it last for shelter is asking? I think as long as you keep it correctly. Yeah. Um, indefinitely, really. Yeah. Yeah. I think as long as moisture doesn't get to it. Fine. then I think it should just be fine. A um, bit like fondant toppers, they just mm. last as long as you keep them right. Oh, they're so sweet from Jerry. This is new to me. I'm a student tonight with yeah. these kisses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but watch mm. none of these come out of the mouth tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We might have to do another coating. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. And Jerry gave us a clue with a knife. Just give me a knife there. She said, don't use the tip. Always use the middle like mm. that. Because the tip drags it out. So if yeah. I was you, I would melt that again and go over mm. and do another one. That is what I'm going to do. There, looking at I know, that's what was just bugging me. It was trying to come back out. Yeah, and she said, if you use the tip of the knife. See, mm. girls, I was listening to Jerry. <laughs> she, and Jerry is, is our cake lace expert. She said, if you use the tip of the knife, it will dig it out of the mat. Mm. You must lie it down and scrape like that. At home, I just use an offset spatula. And I just chuck it in the mould and hope it turns out good. And if it turns out bad, I'm just not going to post a picture of it. I'm just going <laughs> to throw it away. Well, Karen says, you're not giving me much confidence, guys. <laughs> So we sell cake lace mats, we sell cake lace scrapers if you're in a mad rush to get them. And I did say everybody who buys a cake lace mat, if you put up in the if you put a note in the order if you put a note in the comments, I will give you a rosy mat. Free. But if you don't put a note in the comments, you won't get it. Does that count for me? I'll give you a rosy mat if I've got one here. <laughs> I think I've only got one lace mat at home and it's... Which one have I got? I'll have a look in my cupboard there. I feel like we should have used the glitter one to begin with because it's really, really showing up against... So, it says, oh. they said, can you put the gelatine onto a buttercream cake or... Is this best left for sugar paste covered projects? Everyone's loving what you're doing, Cicely. For somebody who's so shy, they now know that you're not. Look how you've settled in there, eh? Look. And straight in to edible knickers. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> you're not in this kitchen more than five minutes and we're straight on it. <laughs> um, as for the buttercream cake, I don't know. <laughs> Have you put it on a buttercream cake? No. no. I put it on fondant cupboard cake. So I'm not 100% sure. No. I don't know whether the, like, the moisture from the buttercream would make it want to melt, but... So Lisa, we'll show you, we'll show you the ready-made stuff. We'll just get this done, and then um, we'll get Cicely to show you what she's brought with her that had already dried. She's already showed everybody once, but we'll get you to show it again. The recipe, um, Cicely is going to send me um, an email with the information. I'll pop it on the group afterwards, um, or I'll pop it on tomorrow. There we go. I think if I scrape it anymore, it's going to try and rip it back out of the moulds. Yes. Yeah. So with let's it leave that now then. Yeah. Sorry. So Karen, Karen Griffiths is watching. So Karen, you've got to get this out of the mould tomorrow. <laughs> out the Karen Davies mould. Don't you worry, girl. You go for it. And then you wanted some spray, didn't you? Yeah. So have you got to soften all that again now? Just why don't you mix? Down. Why don't you melt all those three now? And let's get them on that tray and do a swirly coloured thing. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So let's get them all on. Why is the microwave so far away? Oh, Abida, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, wow, Carol mentioned my name. I feel a million dollars now. Thank you. And the good thing is, Abida, I know who you are as well. I see your name pop up often. I even think I've responded to you once on Facebook or email. <laughs> Just reading Gerald's 
comment. Well, she wrote. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say it out loud because. Oh right, let me have a look first. Let's, <laughs> it's not bad. It's let's, not bad. Let's, it's let's uh, censorise it first. Hang on a second. What's she saying there? Uh, just don't mention the lady mag. Oh right, God. <laughs> I'm sure, they never come back again. No, she's too young for them, lady magnets. Have you heard of lady magnets? <laughs> lady magnets. Yeah. Don't worry, it was new territory, right. new territory for me as well. I tell you, have you noticed, ladies, no hot flushes for me? And I was telling Karen today, I said, Karen, do you not think I'm calmer? I said to John, do you not think I'm calmer? John, he went, no. So I said to Karen today, with all the move and everything else, I said, do you not think I'm calmer? She said, yeah. I went, all right then, it wasn't that bad. So she went, yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> Crikey. But you are a lot calmer, I to know. be fair. Sue Freeman said you could use the back of the lace mat to make sails. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's not shy anymore now. She's in here. She's in the kitchen. She's rocking and rolling. <laughs> yeah, she knows where more stuff is than I do. I we're going really really to chat her mum up to see if we can get her mum to bring her again. What do you think, Ellie? I've got to ask the day yeah. out. <laughs> hey, you going to come again? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we've got mum here. <laughs> yeah, so. Ellie's here, even if you're not Sicily. <laughs> My mum pretends that she just does it for me, but secretly she just loves it. Yeah. <laughs> she just says, oh, I'm just the helper and I'm just the driver. But then she's in the kitchen and she's like, do you want me to sort the sprinkles for you? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So you just want me to pull them all on? Yeah, I want you to pull it all on, swirl it out. And then what we'll do, we'll do a splash. There you go. Yep, yeah, that's how we want it. And then a bit of this one. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's more green. Play it, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. And then some green. Oh, I like that already. Mm, same. Right, Ooh. then let's start mold it all, tip it all up. <laughs> Do that thing with it. <laughs> oh, I like that. Look at that. Oh. Oh. See, that, this to oh, me sure. looks quite Halloween y. Mm. You because know, the green. See? Even I'm coming up with good ideas now. <laughs> Look at that. Who would have thought I would have had a good idea? It's just the shimmer that's carrying us. That oh, is Jill it. Cook. Jill Cook, we all love a mention. Hi, Jill. <laughs> the idea that someone said about doing the fire, um, I'd imagine you'd be able to do the same effect, but like a cauldron. Mm. You know, like the greeny, smoky. I don't know mm. how to describe it. You know what I mean. I do. <laughs> So, Alison Skirr, Carol, do you have a card to stop spray on the cake? What does that mean? Uh, you know, when she's spraying, do you have something on the table to stop it staining, I guess? I don't know, I just spray everything everywhere. <laughs> we like a glittery kitchen. <laughs> mm. That looks fab. Oh, you're all funny, aren't you, when I mention your name, Linda Miles there. Uh, I feel the same when Carol likes and comments on one of my cakes. <laughs> i tell you what is funny when I ring you. When I ring you and I go, hi, it's Carol. And you'll go, hiya. <laughs> I screenshot it. See, if you ring me, I think, oh my God, what's what? wrong? <laughs> what, if I, when I comment? Yeah. <laughs> If you comment on any of my pictures or any of my cakes, I screenshot it. <laughs> no, it's the same as um, and I send it to my mom, and my partner, my dad, and um, Zoe's fancy cakes. I follow along to a lot of her tutorials mm. for her little models and stuff. Yeah. Um, and when she like reshares mine on her story or she comments on it, it screenshots it. <laughs> Yeah, that's going on the wall. <laughs> I like this idea. Nicola Fox says, can you paint it over a balloon, then pop it? I'm just going on search of a balloon. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I don't know. We've run out of it. We've run out of this now. I like those colours. Isn't that good? That's mm. so gorgeous. Right. When would you spray it now, then? You know, like you did that silver. Oh. When would you spray it? Just straight after. Would you? Mm -hmm. So we'll do a bit of a section of that. Okay. So I've give you four colours there, so let's Ooh. just do, give them a good shake and let's just do a bit of a squirt of each. But don't cover it all, just so we can see. Okay. 
So we'll have a big friend. Oh, that's nice. Linda Miles Darcy said that's because I make everyone so welcome. Oh, look at this. Oh, mm. that is so pretty. Yeah. Bit of that one. Oh, do you know, I love the smell of this I stuff. I love the smell. I just want Don't to use it. I was yeah. never a glue stiffer, but I could say be a peony luster spray sniffer. Mm. Mm. I just want to drink it. Mm. That's the white. Mm -hmm. mm. It's such a shame because that's so pretty. Yeah, well. I know it's a shame that, isn't it? Don't do it all. Do that green bit now down there. We don't want to lose that pink. Would you be able to coat the chocolate shoe mould with this and make a glass slipper? Ooh. Mm. Interesting, but we're not doing it because I want to eat that shoe. Mm. That's the shoe mould, not the actual shoe. Oh, that's shoe mould. Oh, I thought she might make me chocolate shoe. Oh, actually, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, the shoe mould. Mmm, good idea. Just remember, it will be flexible, though. Yeah. Oh, I love whipping this Smells stuff. Smells so good. <laughs> Who else loves whipping this stuff? It's great, isn't it? It's going right up my nose. There we love go. It. That's that. Martin says you're doing them all proud tonight. Well Thank done. You. Right, round of applause for this. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, it's like marble sugar paste, yes. Mm. Put yeah, you could do red, there. gold and green for Christmas. Look, they're here. They're at it again. All the ideas. I can feel it up my nose. All the glitter. Pardon? I can feel all the glitter up my nose. I know, I can't see through <laughs> my glasses now. They're just right. all glistered up. So is that all done with the cellophane? Yeah, we're all think? done with the cellophane now, is that it? Who's making cellophane tonight? Go on, <laughs> tell me. Who's got the who's got the gelatine out and been playing? Go on, admit it. And we're going to do, what we're going to do again now? Edible fabric, that's Edible it. Edible fabric. We're doing. Yeah. Edible fabric, girls, look at these. So while well, she's having a little tidy up, so this is on wafer paper here. So um, we can print these, and don't be print. This is wafer edible paper. Do not be printing this with your normal ink printers, okay? You've got to do it with your edible colours. So and and your printer can only have your edible colours in. You can't be swapping your inks either. When you buy a printer, you either use it for printing paper with normal ink, or it becomes an edible printer, and you use this, but. Um, we do icing sheets at home, uh, at home, at work, um, but this is edible paper and you print onto the smooth side. So I don't know whether you can see, can you see it's, uh, can you see that texture side there? So you print onto the smooth side, so I didn't know how many she wanted, so we've done that and look at that, look at that, no, no, look at that. That's our, that's our logo, just in case you don't see it. There, look at that. Sugar and crumbs, look, look at that. That's our logo. Mm -hmm. Right, she's back. Are you ready? Yeah, I just had to rinse out my glass bowl. Yeah, no worries. My coffee's gone cold now. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think about it? Right, so, this one. I have my gelatin over here, which is 20 grams in the bowl. <laughs> and then I poured out too much water. So just stick it in there. Yeah, so I've just got to put it into this one. So those people who are asking, um, well, she's already made some edible paper before. We'll re-show you that again. We can't show you tonight because it's got to set. But Karen Griffiths is on the live tomorrow and she's been told she's got to sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> so between her and Antonia, they'll be sorting it out tomorrow. They'll be, yep. peel, they'll be peeling our moulds, peeling it off tins. I'll just cheer Karen on as she does it. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I've got the 20 grams of gelatin. 40 millilitres of just water. I used all my spatulas. <laughs> oh, have you got that middle drawer down there? Thank on this you. side. Oh, you've got high, high on it, Sicily. Jerry says that you can drape it over her black bag cake. <laughs> high on it. Oh, when she's made it, yeah. Mm. And 
Sue White. I've just sent my husband out for lemonade. I'm guessing she had gelatin then. <laughs> Have you found it? I was in the wrong drawer. Oh, right. I was in that one over there. <laughs> right. So I've got my spatula. And then give it a really good stir. This one sets up a lot faster because there's a lot less liquid. I'm going to have to flick the kettle on, is that okay? Mm. Just because I need some boiling water. Because with this one, it sets up so fast that it will go sticky and not very nice and leave a really bad effect. So if you heat it up and then just put it in a bowl of boiling water just to keep it fluid. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get scissors out, just cut the ends off these. I stuff. think what might be better is if I paint it on mm -hmm. and then cut so the edges off. off so I can use the edges for my fingers because it oh, sticks right. to me. Oh, it's, see, yeah. it's a bit of a messy process, this one is. Yeah, no, she did say you could use water. She only used lemonade to take away any sort of flavour of gelatin and make it nicer. <laughs> so how much water is that? Was that 40 mils? Yeah, 20 grams of gelatin, 40 mils of water. Yeah. So 20 grams of gelatin, 40 mils of water, and I forgot to say everyone, like and share, like and share, and like and share, in with a chance of winning a £25 voucher. And remember, it can be used on classes as and well. And it can be used on classes as well, absolutely. So, um, what I was going to say to you, then we've got, um, oh we're doing the live tomorrow, it's no class tomorrow, so we need to control them, control them, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, so this has been in for 30 seconds, just going to give it a nice stir. And then I need a teaspoon of, well I use corn syrup at home, um, but I found out from Carol that it's basically golden syrup and we tried it with the leaf gelatin and it worked, so. It's a new pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, got to check it again, get in something else. It's alright, I can't. She said to me, we've got corn syrup, and I'm thinking, what is corn syrup? I know what corn syrup is. You struggle the, with your nails. Mm -hmm. The first time I ever made it, um, I just made my own corn syrup from scratch. Yeah. And now I feel silly, because it was golden <laughs> syrup, and we always have that in the cupboard. <laughs> Thank you. But I ordered a big bottle of the corn syrup off Amazon. So, yeah, we just need one teaspoon of this. And then give that a really good stir. This one has a couple of extra steps compared to the last one, but it's still a bit more technical. This one, then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's still such a basic recipe. It's, I think, that's why I was just so baffled when everyone was like, Yes, please show us because. I felt a bit silly just coming and saying, it's just this many re ingredients and off you go. This is the microwave again. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to say that time. It's, it's all right. So, so isn't it a great live, everyone? So do like and share, like and share. Give lots of love hearts. Isn't she doing so well? She's, uh, she's got no nerves now, is she? She's flying. <laughs> flying. <laughs> Crystal? Let me tell you, I'm glad I don't have to wash all those pots. Cicely doesn't know that what she'll be doing afterwards. I'm going straight to bed. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Is that you? Are you going to wash up, have you? I did last night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she cleaned my kitchen for me whilst I was doing a live demo. Because my whole house was just a tip. That's <laughs> right. At least you're actually Cicely's mum. My, um... Uh, I mean, she's not my mother-in-law, but she might as well be. I've been seeing Taylor for a couple of years. She visited my uni house, and it was a state, because obviously it's a uni house, and she ended up blitzing my kitchen. Not even her son's kitchen, <laughs> Right, so where are we up to? Right, okay, so I've put this in for an extra 30 seconds, and now it's nice and fluid. And then, in this big bowl, I've just got some boiling water from the kettle, and just to put it in like a little bath, is that a bain marie? Mm. Yes. 
I know a term. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you have chosen. Just because yeah. this will set up so fast that it will be a bit of a pain. So it just keeps it nice and fluid. Otherwise, you have to run back and forth to the microwave to keep warming it back up. So I've got this really pretty one. And I've got just a really big paintbrush. So Is that going to stick all over my green board before you go for it? My pink board? Will it wash off? Yes, but it will roll straight off. Let's it could, it comes straight off. No, let's not risk it because it's Carol's pink board. <laughs> I'm taking this pink board, hey? <laughs> should, we, should we get the green one out? Mm. Do you want a different yeah, board? <laughs> no, honestly, as everyone knows, Go on that there's some so green boards, some precious. thin green boards. See on the right there? Are these? Yeah. I thought these were felt for some reason, no. but it's not. Just in case, it's not worth it. Just in case, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, it's got this film on. So if any of you buy the pink board, by the way, it's got a film on it, and it looks like it's scratched, but it isn't. So if you run your fingers all over it, it's like, it looks like, it's like, it's the, it's the, um... Protective film. Well, it's not the protective film, it's to stop it from, um, anything sticking to it. So when you keep wiping it, some of it will go, and all you have to do is just give it a little rub and massage with some Trex. But don't be rubbing it off. But you will get those little scratches, but don't worry. doesn't do anything to the board. And now I've got my little corn pouch. So when, when you do this, you can either do it like this on printed paper and use a cornflower pouch instead. Or if you want to just do it with plain paper. And then instead of the cornflower, you can use a luster dust. Just run that by me again. Sorry, I missed that. So if it's got a printed pattern, then yeah. after you've brushed it all on and you give it a second to get tacky, you put on the cornflower pouch right. so you can still see the pattern. Or you can use a luster dust instead of, mm -hmm. like a powder, instead of the cornflower and it will colour it. Oh, right. So that's what I did at home to make a gold, giant gold bow to go around the cake that never made it here. Right. <laughs> But it looked pretty. They all think that you were very brave to be doing that on my pink board. <laughs> I think they would have loved it if you'd done it on my pink board, but Antonia has saved you. It's not worth it. <laughs> and so with this one, and yes, well, you can either do it on just one side mm -hmm. or you can do it on both sides. So what's the difference of one side? If you do it on one side, it will dry out quicker. Mm -hmm. um, because once you've put it in and draped it, after like overnight or whatever, it will firm up and go hard mm. but in the dr the draped look um it just keeps it softer for longer right great okay so you're gonna do a drape are you can you do a drape with it i can do why don't you do a drape with it and then we'll put it over jerry's flat bag because she's give you permission that you can <coughs> okay okay so that look nice like, like a scarf mm. won't it so with this one i will do just this side and then the, you've got to be really fast because the longer you work on it, it gets really tacky and the harder it will be to do it. So just slap it on and hurry up. <laughs> See, even Denise was cringing before the green board was brought out. So, <laughs> um, Gillia, do sell the board. What you need to do is ring the office. And uh, ring the office and you can reserve one with a £25 deposit and then pay the balance. Um, I've got, my next shipment is coming in on Friday. Oh, that's tomorrow, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I am anymore. So the, the, the next shipment is coming in tomorrow. So just pay a £25 deposit and then when they arrive, Laura will ring you. So if they don't make it tomorrow, she'll ring you on Monday when they come in. And if you don't want to pay it this week, you can pay it next week. Um, there's several big, big boards. The one that we have here is the extra large, and I love it. And all the ladies who've bought one so far love it. They are pretty amazing. There's um, a medium one and a small one, and um, they are what they are. They're non-split sticks. So when I roll my icing sugar out, I'll my sugar paste on it, I don't put any corn flour down. But That's nobody weird. dare cut on it. <laughs> <laughs> Or throw, throw stuff on it. So this is exciting. So we just sit here and watch, do we? Oh, thanks for the link, Lynn. <laughs> so after you brush it all on, you mm. just have to give it just a minute or two just to dry a little bit so it should still be tacky but not wet. Mm -hmm. 
Whilst we give that a minute, I will show you what I brought with me. Yeah, so I have this one that I did on printed paper yesterday. And this was, instead of using a cornflower pouch, this was just putting the cornflower on and using a brush. That's good that it still says stuff that is soft that, doesn't it? Yeah, you can feel that it's going hard. This got that camera, yeah. oops. So this got left out overnight um, in the cake room and it's it's still soft but it started to mm. firm up. Do you want to have a feel? Mm. <laughs> so it does it leave a bit of corn. Yeah, so it does leave a bit of corn flour residue. What does it taste like? Would I want to taste it? It's just I mean, it's a bit rubbery, but it doesn't really taste so much. Karen Taylor is mm. asking. Oh, that is weird now. Mm. Is asking, um, does painting this on not smudge the printed image? No, it hasn't done it. Not so really. Far. I think no. if you was to just keep going over and over and over it, then but it might not, make it bleed. It's not look at that image. That's not that's not smudged in the slightest. Nope. Yeah. And this is one that I did with the luster dust, but this one I purposely didn't put it on any hot water. So. So, yeah, oops. You were perfect where you were. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to stand down a bit. You just got to stay you still go. for a bit longer. You'll give Antonia yeah. time, uh, time to find the button and do it. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I don't know if you can see on this one. This is one that I painted with the luster dust. But if you can see, there's like all drag marks. Don't know if the camera's picking it up very well. Yeah, it but I didn't put that on any hot water. So mm. it sets up so fast. If you want mm. to have a look. Oh, I see, yeah. It might go on your fingers. Mm. Get everywhere. But I still think that looks nice with your lustre yeah. on It's like um like a textured like concrete effect really, isn't it? Or you could use yeah. that for any type of effect really. Mm. Yeah, I really like it. Mm. Um and then we should have one more. Make Here it, it is. It. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this one. I made this one this morning. I feel like I'm on Blue Peter, like mm. this is one I made earlier. <laughs> so I made a few sheets to bring with me. Um, which I've put, I've put a piece of card just to keep them flat, but then I just put some greaseproof paper in between each one. So this is one, like I said, that I did this morning with the luster dogs, keeping it on water. Oops. Let me peel it off the paper a little bit. It's great, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look how flimsy <laughs> that is. Look at that. that is like you can scrunch it up. If you give it a bit of a stretch, Obviously, it will rip if you pull it too hard, but you can give it a bit of a pull, and it has got some elasticity to it. Yeah, so if you really pull it... Yeah, if you really pull it, it will just rip. I just pulled it there, but... Yeah. But look at that, that's But great, it has it? got some stretch. So that's great, like, if you wanted anything you wanted to make, like, a make effect, like, like, I don't know, maybe you might want to set a curtains on the cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or or something. Well, that's actually like, why a I dress or something. Yeah. So you make a nice... Well, that's actually why I learned how to make it because I wanted mm. to make curtains. <laughs> 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 so yeah, and then that's one all flexible and scrunched in a ball, and now we all have blue hands. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't touch that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get my corn pouch now. It's gone tacky to the touch. And I'm just going to hit it and just take out some frustration on it. Anger management. <laughs> yeah, give it a really good dust. Um, Sue says, sorry to be dumb, mm -hmm. but is it on to edible paper and edible ink? Everything yes, is absolutely, edible. yeah. We had that <laughs> conversation before. It's on an edible printer with edible ink, and you must never swap the ink. Don't think... Oh, you know what? I want to print something off with paper now. I'll pop in the other ink. You can't. Once you've made your... Pr your printer has to be brand new to be an edible printer. Okay? You can never be... Oh, I'm going to change it to be an edible printer because those inks have already gone through. So Make you, a good tablecloth. Are you wiping cloth? any more on now? Or are you just wiping... No, the sorry. This off. is just um, a dry brush. I'm just brushing off some of the extra corn flour because, as you can see, it leaves a lot of residue once you've done it. So I'm just dusting some of it back off. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do you have to be gentle or can you just kind of go at it at this stage? Um, you've got to be somewhat gentle, but... I find the more I faff around with it and the gentler I try and be, 
the more it just rips in my hands. So you've got to be confident. Yeah, just be confident. Just go for it. And like I said before, if it turns out rubbish, chuck it away. Just don't show anyone. It's fine. <laughs> Try again. And then tell everyone that that was your first attempt. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. I'll put a picture on and say, oh, look, I've just made this, but I don't post the ten tries before where <laughs> all the selfies of me crying in the kitchen because it won't work. But there we go. It so, is on. So this is paper. We sell this, ladies. So we sell it in two types. We sell it, if you, if you put in search edible paper, we do a cake style one, which is a, an A5 size. And then we do um, another one that is the A4 size. So if you pop on our website and just search edible paper, you'll find it. Edible wafer paper, it's called. Don't write edible paper, edible wafer paper. There we go. And then Brilliant. The scissors. Oh, I did have them here. There they are. Found it. Here we go. So then what I've done is I've left this extra bit on just to use for my fingers to hold it because it's so sticky. But I've done it without and it still works fine. It just sticks to your fingers and it's just a little bit more of a pain. So this is actually really helpful. Mm -hmm. And does more of that um, does more of that cornflour pouch brush off? Yeah. Yeah. But because it's um might still be a little bit tacky underneath the cornflour, I like to give it a little bit of time. And then once I think that it's had like sufficient time to dry. Then I just give it just a really good whack, like I just <laughs> do this at home, just to get a lot of it off, which looks quite aggressive. Oh, here. You could use it for bedding on the seven dwarfs beds, and then they're all going, you can only have six dwarfs now, but <laughs> they're not happy. Five if Snow White is prison. <laughs> <laughs> Pantomime to a whole new level at Christmas. Snow White and the five dwarfs. So you all enjoying this life? Isn't it a great life? I've had a great time tonight. <laughs> yeah, and look time. at that, you've been nearly two hours. God, get you. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel that long. No, it wasn't bad that for something that only took five minutes to make. <laughs> I know. I've never seen anything so funny. You put that in the bowl, you put that in the bowl, and there it is. So, oh, all just right, giving then. giving it a really good whack. Just like that, just to <laughs> just get all the extra off. And then, there we go. And if you, so you can fold that, that's great, isn't it? Isn't that fabulous, everyone? What so, do you think of that? Yeah, so you can just scrunch it all up. Oh, edible masks. Face masks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that idea. But isn't it good? Because so many of you ladies have said you've tried this and it didn't work. And now you can try this and you, you've seen it. It's live. This is why we do these Facebook lives. Because you see it. You see it and that's it. You can do it. There is some so, places that actually... Um, sell this already made as well like yeah. i think evil cake genius yeah sells it and i think there's one called flexeek mm. that sell it and it's well, crazy you can make it to, yourself now it's it, yeah it's just so simple and cheap to do it's just knowing what to do yeah so you need an edible printer and um, and the other thing as well if you haven't got an edible printer and you bought the paper so, so let's say you just bought the paper, and as I say, we do it in the A4 size and the A5. If you bought the, a, the edible printer, and then what you could do, you could do some graffiti art with your edible pens. So we've got the Caligra pens, and we've got the Cape Star pens, um, and we've also got the uh, rainbow click and twist ones. So you could actually do some graffiti art and do your own design on the paper, and then, and then make it into edible paper, uh, then make it into... Now what I'm wondering... Fabric. On, you could just spray it, do you think? Um, Won't you lose the picture then? Well, yeah, I know the, the, this one, because obviously this one's got a picture on, but if yeah. it was a plain one, mm -hmm. if you was to put this on, paint this on, and then spray it, yeah. once it goes tacky, and then cornflour. I don't know. Let's try it. Have a go. Shall we have a go? Have a go. Well, don't forget, you've got to do it with the veggie gel yet. You've got to oh, do cellophane yes. with veggie gel. Can you okay. do this with veggie gel? I don't know. Well, we'll see. We've got ten one. minutes because we've got we've got to think of all our. Uh... We could try this one with veggie gel because if this one works, then the it's other great. one surely. Will. If one works, the other one will work. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, because they're, right. they're so close. Should we do another one then? And then we can spray the other one as well, can't we? Yeah, and then two birds one stone. So do you want to do the veggie gel? Because it's a beader, was it a beader? 
Yeah. She asked about it. Where yeah, come I, on, let's do the veggie gel one. Where this? Yeah, I'll hold it then. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just hold it here then. <laughs> Don't worry about me. And if you spray it gold, it, it? it'll match Jerry's. I can't believe. Look at that. That's just so good, isn't it? So I think what we'll do there is we will we will make it into a little thing to drape over a bag. If you use the gold one, it'll match. It'll match. That'd be funny. And the thing is, is it makes quite a decent amount. I've still got some in the bowl, so you could do quite a few sheets with the one set. And yeah. this one as well. I will, I'm not 100% sure about the cellophane, but I know with this one, keep it in an airtight container, it will last for a month in the fridge. Oh, will it? Oh, that's good but to know. But don't leave it out of the fridge, because it will start to grow mold. Oh, just just straight that over the black bag like that, over the back. Mm -hmm. Whereabouts? Uh, uh, this side? Yeah, that side. This side? Yeah. Look at that. Got a scarf for your back now. So, girls, see, you've done oh. half a class now. When you do Jerry's <laughs> class, you've got the scarf ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could do a safari print for a bag, couldn't you? That would be nice, quite nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, so, do you need a new clean bowl now? Or can you just do it in I'll just do it in one of these, can't I? Should I do it in this one? I'll do it in this one. Need water. What I've got some need? water here. So does water not have to be hot then? Nope. No? And what about a glass bowl? I could just put this one in the microwave. Can't All right, then. 30 it's seconds. Yeah. 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 We're not making the cellophane, we're making the fabric. Yeah. 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 Okay, just so I know. Yeah, because the hot water's just for the bowl underneath. Oh, Carol Ellen, I'd already answered that question. Of course, you can use plain rice paper and put your own design on it. Yeah, that's what I said before. So, providing you use edible pens, you could do that, which would be, would be lovely. What about the photo of you in fabric, Carol? Crikey. <laughs> I think I'm bad enough as it is. Let me see if I can find that picture that um we had a funny we had a funny thing going on the other day. So Michelle uh, Ward wanted one of these, two of these on the icing sheets. And we, we don't sell with they're not on the website. So she, she said could she have them? I said, yeah, ring the office and uh, speak to the office. So Karen Naylor, who's watching now, said, Well we don't we've got no um it's not on the website. Just put a picture of something to do with sugar and crumbs on. And I'll see if I can find the picture. So when it came through, the office had no idea what Karen Naylor had said. And then messaged me and said, was it okay if Michelle Ward could have a picture of me? No oh, pardon. So she sent me this picture. Wait till I find it. Never left me head off so much in my life. I'd have been mortified though if they'd... Uh... Let me find it. I'll be back with you in a moment. Go on, you carry on doing that. So I'll I was just checking picture. the back of the... Right, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> Anne-Marie, my mind is going 100 miles an hour. She does computer graphics, so she loves this new idea. Oh yeah, it's great. It's, yeah. great, it's a great idea. I'm wondering how many people, I'm wondering, after this live, how many people are going to be posting what they've done. I can't wait to see. No. Well, you can sit and watch while your mum cleans up, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the impression you were. So. <laughs> You're looking forward to that, Ellie? Yes. I won't be helping you, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm on holiday. <laughs> as well I, know. <laughs> I need to find this picture it's just so funny so it says I've got to just keep mixing until it's completely dissolved into this <laughs> Fiona says tartan patterns but yeah you yeah. have to print that <laughs> don't be drawing tartan that would take ages you can order like like prints already done, can't you? Hmm. Yeah. If you don't have a printer. Put on the picture. Right, so I'm gonna put this in the microwave for a little bit. 
So here, yeah, I'll have to just show you this. So Michelle Ward wanted this. And because we don't sell it on the website, Karen Naylor said, just put any picture of sugar and crumbs up. So she sent a picture through, and then the office rang me and said, is it all right if Michelle Ward has a picture of this? Is that on there? Can you get it? Just. Have you seen me? <laughs> Sat down, looking miserable and fat. <laughs> And I said, are you kidding me? She can't possibly want that picture. What on earth would she want that picture for? And then they rang her and found out it was this. They completely forgot what they'd asked her to do. <laughs> eh? Look at that. When she'd been upset, that had gone in the post. <laughs> Printed on a edible sheet. Oh, it would have been so funny, though. That would have been funny. <laughs> I feel like we should just do it now. Eh? Just with that picture. <laughs> Think of a worse picture. <laughs> Just get you on a scarf and drape it over another <laughs> one of Jerry's bags. <laughs> no, it's not my best picture at all. Ah. That was hot. <laughs> so as for the veggie gel, um, no, no, not that I know, uh, not with the same recipe. Maybe there's like another recipe. Can you have more water to it? Do you think? I don't know. Try it. Do you What's want to wind up with plain? Try it. What's the top? Why don't you just go and get the water? Well, I'm wondering whether, because of this, it says dissolve completely in the water rather than let it soak up. So maybe this one should have been hot to dissolve it. Did you add the cornstarch to that? Not yet, because you're supposed to microwave it, then add it in at this stage. But let's, let's boil but when you made that one, time. you didn't add hot water to it, did you? No, just cold water with that one, because mm. the gelatin soaked it all up. Ah, right. But then with this one, it says to wait for it all to dissolve. So should right. I start again with should we try again? hot water? Don't worry, we've got, I've, what we've got, we've got another sachet of veggie gel. Yeah. I halved the recipe for this one because obviously we don't have as much of the veggie gel. Mm. So. so bin that one up then. Yeah, Let's have a go. Yeah. So we're just having a try with the veggie gel because we know so many of you so, ask. We're just going to swap bowls. So... going to just weigh out... Some yeah, I'm still eating sweeties, Geraldine. <laughs> I know you won't believe how many sweets I've eaten. They're nice, these ones, though, aren't really they? Good. Me and Antonia have got a bowl each. I mean, I'm never going to be slim. My bowl's not very full anymore. No, please, <laughs> mine. So it's like a half filled bowl, and now I can see the bottom. Mm. <laughs> it was like when you gave me the Calibo chocolate for the class last week. Yeah, we scrapped that, didn't mm. we? I know, it's bad. And then we felt sick, but then we kept going. Did I offer you any sweets, Cicely? Yeah. Oh, no, good. Just making sure I didn't leave you out. Did I offer you any? Yeah, I think we You didn't want any. You were missing out. Just, <laughs> just making sure that I, I'm just making sure that I didn't oh, sit here. Yeah. Just making sure I didn't sit here scuffing them all myself with Antonia. <laughs> So we're just pre we're just going to see if the um, gel if the veggie gel one works. What sweets are you eating? Well, Karen, keep it on that camera and you run round, Antonia, and get them. So Karen bought these sweets for when we open Sugar and Crumbs shop, but there's not many left. <laughs> Yeah, as you can tell. So we're going through them. Yeah. <laughs> we gorgeous. just need more, don't we? <laughs> so, hi guys. Bye guys. I agree with you, Paul. No one's going to kidnap me. Right. Yeah, it's I'm a back with the measure. kettle. <laughs> so, let's change it into millimetres. No, Karen, just order more calibo. <laughs> Eat some, save some for Ollie. So we're going to try and dissolve it now. Yes. Let's see if it works. Let me just put the kettle back. Night, Jerry. So Jerry's got to leave now because she's got to go and finish her cakes. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so funny, Carrie Ann. Every time the microwave beeps, I end up running to the kitchen to check her time as she's got two cakes in the oven whilst oh, watching no. it. <laughs> and is it dissolving? I think so. I mean, it's still more like a paste, isn't mm. it? This yeah. One. I don't think it's going to work. No. I, I know when we've tried to do recipes with veggie gel and we just can't get it to work. Mm. Homework. Mm. <laughs> Something I'll investigate. <laughs> okay, so let's put it in. Done? Yeah, let's put it in for 30 seconds. And You're going to give it a go. You're really going to go for it, aren't you? Mm. You're going to try. Hey, this girl's yeah, a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> that veggie gel's not getting away from her. Yeah, don't blame me, Linda. Linda Miles says, I did a sweetie overload cake today. And ate, ate the remaining Smarties, chocolate buttons and chocolate fingers. Yeah, I yeah. would do. <laughs> See those chocolate shoes over there? The big one mine and the little ones for look for Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Nikki, it, it's pretty up there. Without what? she said, it's. I bet this is Tony's best job ever. Adam, who's best job? <laughs> Especially now I've got my magnet on. <laughs> no, that's done the same, hasn't it? Sorry, guys. Yeah, not working, is it? No. Good, right. Rubbish veggie gel. Keep it to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, coming around with a mouthful of sweets. <laughs> Did she do well? Isn't she a superstar? So, get those thumbs up. Love oh, what's your page called? Oh, my cake page is Not Too Shabby Cakes, <laughs> because I make cakes that aren't too shabby. Oh, <laughs> oh that's nice. Yeah. They're not amazing, but they're not terrible. They're just oh, be better. decent. Oh, they'll be all over. So, well, say it again then, so I can go and look. Not Too Shabby Cakes. Mm. So, go over there, give her a page a like, and... Uh, Leave a message on the page, what you thought about tonight's live. And leave some comments on here. Don't forget to like and share. Um, don't forget, we sell the edible paper. We sell Cake Star, the A5 size. I look weird here with a mouthful of sweets in my cheek, don't I? Uh, like a fat squirrel. Turn around, chew and come back. Or a fat hamster. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we do the Cake Star A5 size and we do the um, edible wafer paper so if you search that we do that as well and uh you can we can print it off of you but if you've got your own edible printer but like i say even with the edible pens you can do your own design so it's just all good fun give it a go with ladies and uh thank you very much Cicely for coming up thank you and for thank you me. ellie for bringing her we've had a great time haven't we so great. are you going to come back and do the chocolate cake then at the mither and four definitely if you love me absolutely <laughs> <laughs> she's booked <laughs> That's it, sorted. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, off you go, girls. Have a good night's sleep. And be back in the morning to see Karen, half past 11, and she's going to work out how to get that all out of the mould for you. <laughs> I'm off to work, Seven. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Antonia. Thanks.